Hey guys, this is uh, K and Inga, and um, well, it's uh, March second. Uh, um, while well, I'm filming this, is March second, second day of the new ban list, and man, a lot of people are having trouble trying to build a consistent deck. A lot of people going the easy way with Twilight and this, you know, the steady consistency of Light Storms, even though they are a little bit slower. Um, so yeah, this is my new mat. This is gonna be my my new, probably my new channel official mat. Um, I have to say, Honest is one of my, it's like, if not the, my, my most favorite monster in the entire game. Um, I don't know, just the way that he, when you use him, you can overpower pretty much any monster. It's just tremendous to me, and I like that. Um, yeah, power. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, one of my most favorite, and if, and if not the most favorite monster, my most favorite monster. So yeah, I got out. Honest Matt to go with that. It's not for solo trading, so yeah, don't offer. Um, but anyways, this is my first attempt at a at a consistent build of the new format. Um, I meant to film this yesterday, but I had no time, so I'm gonna uh, have it here for today. And I'm gonna have a new segment coming up more likely after this video is posted. So uh, yeah, and y'all can check that out here pretty soon. So um, yeah, here we go. First off, the first monster is Dark Arm Dragon. Um, as you can tell, this is more likely going to have a good array of dark monsters. Um, great monster, and um, just needs to headline it. The next three are Caius, the Dark Monarch. If you can probably tell, this is going to be a dark, mm, a dark etched monarch deck. Um, the new ban list had brought out a couple of good monsters. Um, really limiting and um, just pretty much demolishing other decks like zombies and stuff like that. Mizuki at one, D draw, Allure all at one. It's it's gonna be a much slower format and probably a sackish format. So um, you're gonna see a lot of old friends come out. Um, the last out of the Monarch lineup, Two Rises. Um, pretty much you know what this is if you've been playing Yu-Gi-Oh for as long as I have. Just tribute summon and spin any card on the field to the opponents or to that owner of the cards deck now here um, one of my more favorite monsters now now that it's back up at two two cyber dragon if you haven't picked up the machina uh, mayhem deck go get it it has a common version of cyber up until then i didn't have any cyber dragons because i just i never really used it so i never had really had the feel or need to pick up any but now that it's at two um, it's a very tremendous card, and you can dust off your old overload fusions and mach add machine monsters to your deck. So, yeah. Um, Plex Spreader. This deck n needs and lives off of making fodder for your monarchs, since you won't be synchroing all that much. You can splash in a Gale. This is the only tuner I prefer to have is Plex Spreader, not just because it can spe you can you know tune for pretty much anything. Um, I mainly use it also for uh, tribute fodder, so yeah, tribute then yeah, synchro and then tribute for a monarch. Up next is two jute man. Um, yeah, this since like I could probably put this at three in this deck mainly because I'm going to be going to um, I don't know if you are going to go to the regionals in Little Rock, Arkansas, in about a week or two. Um, GBs are going to have a huge comeback, I feel. And um, this really hates on GBs because they won't be able to tag out. So, uh, yeah, and plus, more than likely, it'll stay on your side of the field to become fodder for Monarch. So, uh, it's really nice. I'd probably bump that up to two. I'd probably side in third. I mean, yeah, third. Um, two Mallies. I don't run D draw. These are the only two Destiny heroes in the entire deck just because I can tribute them and because I can synchro with them. And um, this deck likes Synchro for 6, so pitching one isn't that bad, too, especially if one's dead in your hand. Or if they're both dead. Um, more Tribute Fodder, 2 Spell Striker. Uh, really nice, also adds, like, plus 3 stars if you have, like, a uh, a Spell in the Grave and a Plague Spreader in your hand to e for easy Cataster. Also hates on uh, GBs if you can make Cataster. Um, tremendous card, and, um, yeah... <laughs> Up next is two Deep Sea Diva, mainly for synchroing. Um, 
it's really nice to see also builds platforms you're more than likely to see a level 5 and then a level 7 monster so if you need to blow your opponent's field uh, don't be afraid to uh, the only two tutors in the deck uh, two mystic tomatoes first off you'd want to search the other mystic tomato with the first uh, mystic and then go off for either malicious plague spreader or another card that is up next after a tomato so yeah also produces more fodder the last monster in the lineup and it's spirit reaper this guy just doesn't die and if you ever do get the chance to attack with it go ahead it'll bomb a card out of your opponent's hand it feels really nice next to the spells um, the one and only lure this does run a good amount of dark so you, you can feel pretty safe about it and um, yeah this is pretty much a staple now, now that it's at one uh, one hand destruction. I was running two over the allure, but I decided to take it out just because um, it pretty much bombs two cards out of your opponent's hand, but it also lets them draw two, which isn't that great, especially in this format now. You don't want your opponent going as fast as you are, or maybe even faster. Uh, one rota just for the spell strikers. Um, search them out, uh, remove this from play, and uh, uh, make instant fodder. Now uh, the next card is pretty much mandatory for uh, solid Monarch builds. It's uh, Fiend Sanctuary. Um, I would run two, but uh, this is the only copy I have. Um, over here in my meta and where I live, um, it's kind of hard to find Fiend Sanctuaries and pretty much any other CP hollows instead of going online. So uh, yeah, I picked this up at uh, Shonen Jump Boston, but yeah. Next three are three Book of Moons. They're really good, especially for combat edge deck. This deck doesn't truly, truly rely on synchroing, even though it is an option. Um, booking is really, really nice, especially with like uh, two cybers, like jumping around, and of course monarchs. Uh, you don't want your monarchs to die as well because their main, um, their main game pushers. And if you ever do need to, you can tribute a monarch for another monarch. Um, one brain control, really nice tribute for monarch, of course. Um, and then the last ones are stables: heavy storm, clear in back row, trunade for clear in back row, and of course MST. And now to the trap lineup, which is pretty basic for the most part. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, two bottomless. Yeah, it's really nice, and um. Yeah, just bottomless is damn nice, right? <laughs> also, from the Machina's deck, two D Prison. D Prison is so freaking nice. Does not destroy Stardust, can has no say against this. Um, God, it's just a tremendous card, and now that it's got a freaking uh, mass printing and it's all common, um, I can probably see if this makes a big enough impact. It'll more likely be splashing in every deck, especially like GBs and stuff, making them even more stronger than they what they already are, since they didn't even get touched by the ban list whatsoever. Um, I can probably see this going down to two later in September 1st, but it's too early to be thinking about that right now. Two D prisons. Um, two compulsories. I like this, like I said before, in another deck build. Um, gives me the feel of Bryanac, and... Um, Another big thing that's going to be coming out pretty soon, which will already be legal for the regionals that I'll be going to in about two weeks, is Star. What is it? Starlight Road. Yeah, that card is going to make a pretty big impact just because it's so splashable, and um, more than likely extra decks will be packed with three Stardust. So, yeah, I don't want to be destroying out too much. So, Monarchs removes cards without having to destroy them and without having to go multiple ways of destroying them destroying two and up which is really bad especially when starlight roads trampling around um, mirror force one of the only cards that probably will plus me two or more uh, I hate to get this negated for a starlight road but uh, yeah mirror force um, one call of the haunted mainly for uh, tribute fodder really nice and last but not least torrential tribute yeah, so um, that's it, deck of the month, March, um, hope you guys enjoy it, 
And um, until next time, guys, rate, comment, and subscribe, and enjoy.